What's going on guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to install the new Windows 11 Notepad app on any version of Windows 11 without having to join the Windows Insider preview builds. So here's how. Ok, to start off head over into the description where you will find the link to my website. If you click on it, it's going to open an article where you will find all the necessary details and the steps. So first of all start off by copying the website link then in your browser go ahead and paste it once that's done change the url link to product id and change rp to fast go back into the article and copy the product id don't add any extra space and come back here and paste it then click the check mark now back in the article you can copy this which is for find go ahead and copy it then go ahead and hit Control plus F to open the find menu and paste this. Once it's done loading, it's going to highlight this. So just click on this. This will download the file. Now go ahead and close the find menu. In the downloads, if you get such an option saying this file is dangerous or this file cannot be installed, just go ahead and click on the three dots and hit keep keep anyway and then save it to your laptop I'll go ahead and save it to my downloads folder okay now that it's done installing it we can go close Microsoft Edge and open file explorer in file explorer navigate to the file which we just downloaded then click on it and right click then go into show more options 7-zip and extract to now it's going to create another folder with the same name as you can see. So open the folder. Then after opening the folder scroll to the very bottom. Until you see notepad app x64 this file right here it's an msix file. Go ahead and to follow the exact same thing show more options 7-zip and extract to. Now once it's done extracting, you can go back to the very top and you'll see a folder with the exact same name. Open it and you'll find the app x manifest file. Left click, then right click on it, show more options and click on edit. This will open the file in notepad. Now open the article which is in the description again and copy the minimum version for the apex manifest file so just go ahead and copy this number right over here and back over here replace this min version this much with the value you just copied so just paste it once that's done in file click save and close notepad now that that's done we have to delete a few files so over here it says all of the files you have to delete so go ahead and delete them it's number one the apex metadata folder the content types apex block map and apex signature now to select multiple files hit the control key while selecting them now instead of just deleting them you have to press shift and delete this will delete them permanently once that is done Go ahead and enable developer mode. So in the search, search for developer mode and it's going to show developer settings. Go ahead into developer settings and enable this option right here. If it's disabled, just go ahead and enable it. It's no big deal. It's just going to ask you and hit yes. Then you can close settings app. Now go ahead and open PowerShell. So in the start menu, just type PowerShell and it's gonna appear then hit run as administrator and in user account control select yes once it opens up right here back in the article you'll see a few codes you have to paste so first go ahead and paste this one right here the very first one go back and control v for pasting it and hit enter once you're done with that Go back to the article and copy the second code right over here. So go ahead and copy it. Then back in PowerShell paste it. Then add a space and back in file explorer in the same folder we were just inside. Click on the apex manifest file xml document. Right click and hit copy as path. Now you can finally close file explorer. Now just paste the path and then hit enter. After it's done executing that, you can close PowerShell. 
Now, when you go to your search menu and search for Notepad and click open, you will finally get the new and amazing Windows 11 Notepad, the one which Microsoft has only released in the Insider Preview dev build. You can also see it says Preview at the very top. Now, what is new in this? First of all, the menu looks really cool with page setup and print and also the new window feature. In edit, you get a whole list of options which weren't there previously in Windows 10. Like you can even add the time and date which will import the current time and date. Under view, you get word wrap which is really useful. Other than that, my favorite is the dark mode. So when you click on the settings right here, in app theme, you can choose dark. And wow, does this look good. Once that's done, you can go back and look at this. It looks so cool. To make your Windows 11 PC even cooler, check out this video right here and you will be able to do that. And I'll catch you in the next one.